packages. All right, so what these are are screen protectors. Now, why would I make a video about screen protectors? Well, if you want to buy a screen protector, you got to know what screen protector to buy. So we're going to be opening both of these up. I think I'm going to start with the small one because why not? Also, we're filming with actual good cameras this time, not a webcam. And here it is. So this is made by Spigen. Spigen, 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 Spigen. So this is for the iPhone 12 Pro, and it should be good. So we're gonna set that aside, and we'll put that on in a second. But the main event, which I'm going to be doing some testing with the Apple Pencil, is this paper feel screen protector. It comes in this really thin, whoa, paper-like film. See, the low, low reflection. That's really cool. Less fingerprints, also really cool. Smooth, so all I need to do is clean my screen. Step one sticker, peel off, set film, apply film onto screen, peel off, ready to use. So it shouldn't be too difficult, and we can just toss this aside. So this is why I wanted to do this video, because I wanted to show you guys if it's actually worth having this compared to glass. So I'm gonna do a quick comparison. I mean, it's gonna be a big gap between the comparison, but at least it's still a comparison. So I'm using the Notes app because that's all I have right now. It's very, very smooth. Very smooth. It's like drawing on glass, which I do like. But this could be better. Wiping down the screen. Should have done this before, but whatever. Also, if you didn't notice, two camera angles. We have one down here facing this and one up here for me. So I think I'm going to try to do two camera angles in the future because I can have the ability to do that. So it's it's really cool. After like a minute or two wiping down, there's still a lot of fingerprints on it, so I might have to just continue doing this. Oh my gosh. So when you're applying a screen protector, you wanna make sure that nothing else is on the screen. Like, it's just clear. It's like basically new. I kinda wish I had the screen protector when I bought it, so that way it would be brand new, wouldn't have anything on it. Also, there might be some stuff that if you're trying to get it off with a microfiber cloth and you just rub over it and it doesn't come off, it's probably not a scratch, it's probably just some dirt and you have to use a little bit more force to get that off. You might want to shake this thing off every once in a while just to make sure there's no like dirt particles and all that stuff on your microfiber cloth, cloth microfiber cloth because there might be some dirt on there. Also, another thing is that you have to make sure it's clean, but if it just looks clean, you might want to check it in like a bright light at like an angle so you can make sure that there's no dust, no fingerprints on it, and stuff like that. That looks pretty good. So I think it's time to add the screen protector. Now let's take it out. I don't know if it's bendable or not. I am not gonna try to find out. Here it is. It's in this little thing. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in here. Oh, there is something else in here. Okay. Okay, it's just warranty stuff. Kind of bendable, actually. So, there's nothing else in here. I don't actually know which way it goes. Somehow, we have to line it up. So, let's set it down, kind of. Try to peel it off. This is very difficult to take off. So, it looks blue right now, but it might just because of the film on top. So, whoa, no, that's a lot of electrostatic electricity right there. Thing, a jig. Oh god. This is extremely difficult. I think the next one will be a lot easier. So that's not even. Oh, that's not perfect. Oh, uh, it's off! It's off! No, 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 retreat, 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 retreat! But my experience so far is that if you touch it with your finger, it doesn't feel as nice. With the Apple Pencil, it feels like you're writing on paper. It also sounds like you're writing on paper as well, which is really cool. I, never, I didn't think it would do that. So I'm gonna have to touch some of the insides, which I do not want to do, by the way. I do not, but I have no choice. Hopefully the screen protector, it doesn't get lifted up by the case which is a little bit off over here, kind of sucks. Might have to take it off and put it back on again, which sucks. Is that a permanent air bubble? Ah, oh, this is why I hate putting on screen protectors because then it's like, ah, oh, you got one air bubble you can't get out because there's like a thing underneath it. Although it definitely does reduce reflections. Wow, feels like a piece of paper. Okay, maybe this wasn't so worth it. It may be nice for the Apple Pencil and stuff, but the color gets distorted, makes it look like it has a lot of noise. 
Maybe it's just because it's the brand screen protector that I got. It does not look nice at all. It does reduce reflections. It does everything it says. Am I happy with my purchase? No, 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 not at all. So it's the next day and this keeps happening. It keeps rising up and I try to push it behind this case but it does not want to go. It's just because the screen protector is just too big. Like if it was a little bit smaller, I think it would actually fit way better. But since it covers up like the whole screen and you have to be so perfect with it, this happens. You can see all that noise and stuff. That's just the screen protector and it gets worse if you get closer to it. So I definitely do not recommend this case at all unless you really only use it for Apple Pencil and stuff and you really don't want reflections. As you can hear, right on paper. Also, it's, it feels very cheap. All right, let's just move on to the next screen protector. This one is garbage. If only I could get this case off. It's actually very difficult to get this case off, by the way. Let's get started by wiping down the display. they probably tell me to do that, but I'm already gonna do that. So the other phone ran out of storage, so we're going to be doing this on just one camera. So it comes with two of these module things. So in case one breaks, you can always put on a new one. Dust removal sticker, okay? We'll use that. Oh, also gives you a microfiber cloth. That's way better than the other one. Look at that. Microfiber cloth, really nice. Lens wiping things, really cool. Awesome, I did not expect this. This is a really good quality. This is way better quality because it gives you two screen protectors, first of all. Second of all, the screen protector is probably gonna be a lot nicer. And also, it gives you all these wipes and stuff. This is so much work. They're like the same price too. I think that one maybe was cheaper, but it's like, oh my God, it was so much, this is so much more worth it. There we go, peel that back, put it right there. I mean, simply just kind of line it up, but then put it on there. Should we remove this sticker? So there we go, tear it up. It added some air bubbles, kind of not good. Hopefully we can get rid of those soon. Oh, okay. So maybe that was just a, uh, wow. Okay, so it has so many different levels of putting on the screen protector to these, these, these things. Whoa, wow. That's the kind of experience that I want to have when doing a screen protector. That was amazing. Now it's got a screen protector. Looks really good, look at that. Wraps around it, perfectly even too. It's definitely a recommendation for me. Not the other one though, please don't get the other one. All right, now let's put it in the case. Oh, there's the thing, animation. Well, there we go. We got a screen protector on it. It's nice, feels like a regular screen protector. So it's all good. Look at that. Pretty cool. I'm back. Little update. There was actually stuff in the thing. I just didn't find it. They were like buried at the bottom of this little thin thing. So. There are positioning stickers, alcohol prep pad stuff, whatever else, even comes with a microfiber cloth. I really need this to be on perfectly because as you saw, it's very, very bad when it's not in the correct, exact correct position. literally impossible. It's too low. So I've taken it off, put it on, put it, take it off, put it on, put it on, put it on, turn it off, take it off, put it on multiple, multiple times. And there's so many air bubbles and it doesn't even fit. Look at this. It doesn't fit. I put it back and forth and look, you, can, you can't get that down because this thing lifts it up and this won't go down because it lifts it up. Okay. And then this, I guess this corner is fine. But then this corner, you can't push it down because it's too, too whatever. How, how? Look at this. I had to put on the case just to try to line it up perfectly, but it's still not enough. I don't think it'll ever be enough. I mean, I can get rid of some of the air bubbles, but it's just not, it's not good. It's just not good. And there's going to be even more than before because I put it on, took it off so many freaking times. It's just insane. Do not buy this. It was actually more expensive than the phone case. Get that and just put two of them or four of them on here. Holy crap. It'd be so much easier than this thing. It's a piece of crap. Do not get the screen protector. 
unless you don't use a case that has little lips around or whatever and you have a little device that you can put the screen protector on this thing and help it out because this thing does not come with it and it's just stupid it's just stupid it is the dumbest thing ever it needs to be shrunk down just a tiny bit and have a little device to help it put it on there and i think this product would be a lot better although the screen still is not good but other than that that is my review of literally the worst screen protector you can ever buy with your own money so yeah at least from my experience because this one is not good and look at this you can't even you can't even take out the air bubbles because they're probably dirt under there oh my god this thing sucks i hate wasting money on a screen protector that's garbage and i'm gonna throw it away and not even use it actually i mean i used it for like one day but there's a hair and all kinds of particles under there now because i had to take it up pick it up tap it down put it down because it's like it doesn't fit it doesn't fit it's garbage doesn't fit maybe if you were to be as precise as i don't know in the exact exact center then maybe just maybe will it fit this case and the other case that i have but no a seat like the corners just lift up except for this one because it's over just by a hair and there's a hair underneath the screen as well you can't see it but there is one it's super super annoying and it's like there's look at these little dots yeah, I can't get rid of those because they're under the screen. Protector. This thing sucks. All right, let's go destroy it. I hate this thing. Do not buy this. All right? All right? All right? Do not buy this. Do not buy this at all. I hate this thing so much. I hate it. I just hate it. I just I gotta hate it so much. Thanks for watching. Bye.